South Sudan is vulnerable to disease outbreaks. In 2019 and 2020, measles, a vaccine-preventable disease, caused outbreaks in at least 20 counties and four internally displaced people's camps. Early detection and rapid containment of major disease outbreaks such as measles, viral hemorrhagic fevers, cholera and malaria is crucial to help reduce needless illnesses and deaths. Outbreaks, you need speed. Yeah. Uh, we, we need to promptly uh, identify uh, cases um, so that uh, it's uh, treated. Not only that, but also to ensure that uh, they don't infect other people. For effective alert management at any time, a multidisciplinary rapid response teams are in place to reach desperate people in remote areas. When you 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 lead identifies an outbreak quickly, you must mobilize a response to that, which may include, for example, health promotion, which may include mobilizing vaccination to the to the communities and so forth and so forth. But also that may include case management. In 2020 the rapid response teams identified, investigated, and responded to over 7,000 alerts, including outbreaks of COVID-19, missiles, malaria, among others, from multiple locations. The RRTs in themselves um, are, I think, an important one to alert. They are just um, supposed to be doing the firefighting mode, in which where you have an outbreak, they come and they alert, right? with hopefully engaging with the other international and national actors, of course, to scale up a response to an epidemic occurrence. But it can be also a displacement, uh, for example, that, that could happen and overburdens the local health system. It's important that this rapid response team are actually really, really mobilized. And really thanks to ECHO uh, funding that has, has really helped us in terms of uh, keeping this rapid response team viable. Ensuring effective support for surveillance, outbreak investigation, coordinated multidisciplinary, multi-hazard approaches to disease prevention and control has been instrumental in identifying and responding to disease outbreaks and has helped to target interventions to prevent excess illnesses and death. There's a lot of more that needs to happen um, to, to to really um, say this is a success. I think there has to be still uh, an increase in sustained engagement. And this is not only funding, but it's also commitment from those organizations that are mandated to provide the technical support, but also from the government to actually start taking ownership, financially as well, ownership of that system. ECO has been supporting Ministry of Health uh, in uh, implementing the integrated disease surveillance and, and response. And the rapid response team has been part of uh, the integrated disease surveillance and response even before COVID uh, uh, started. WHO has been providing technical assistance to reinforce knowledge and skills of the rapid response teams, timely deployment of the team to investigate alerts mobilizing resources to support the rapid response activities in the country.